हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन कम्पटिया ए प्लस एग्जाम क्वेश्चन सीरीज दिस इज वीडियो एट इन दिस सीरीज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन टूडे वीडियो इज दैट ए कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क कनेक्टिंग मल्टीपल लेंस ओवर एन एरिया ऑफ ए सिटी इज कॉल्ड पैन पर्सनल एरिया नेटवर्क सैन स्टोरेज एरिया नेटवर्क मैन मेट्रोपोलिटन एरिया नेटवर्क एंड कैन एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज man so man stands for metropolitan area network and as the name indicates it spans over a city so this man connect different lands that are uh, spanning over a city these lands may consist of college hospital school factory and uh, many other such places but the geographical area is limited to a single city if this area or if this land can uh, this uh, network it goes beyond this uh, metropolitan or the city area and let's suppose it is connecting two cities then we can call this network as wan or wide area network Question number 2 is that a dedicated local network consisting of devices providing data access is known as in the options are SDN NAS iSCSI and SAN and the correct answer is SAN or storage area network so uh, this SAN or the storage area network is a network that gives data access or storage access to different servers or different devices such as here we can see that we have multiple servers mail file db and other servers and these uh, storage devices that consist of optical storage tape library they are giving access they are giving data access to this server or a network that is called as san or storage area network Question number 3 is that a type of network consisting of computers and peripheral devices that use high frequency radio waves to communicate with each other is referred to as man as we already studied metropolitan area network wireless lan lan and vlan and the correct answer is wireless lan so uh, the radio frequency indicates that this is a wireless network question number 4 is that which of the tools listed below would be used for attaching rj45 connectors to a twisted pair ethernet cable and the options are cable tester needle nose pliers punch down tool and cable crimper and the correct answer is cable crimper this tool is known as cable crimper and this is used to connect this rj45 connector to this cable question number 5 is that what is the name of a dedicated tool used for removing electrical insulation cover from electric wires and the answer is already has already been popped up the correct answer is cable stripper so this cable uh, stripper is used to remove the insulation from the uh, shielded twisted pair cable question number 6 is that a type of diagnostic tool used for measuring the strength of a wireless signal is called the options are tone generator multimeter wifi analyzer and network mapper and the correct answer is wifi analyzer Question number 7 is that which of the following would be of help in determining the optimal placement of a web or wireless access point and the options are wall driving optical power meter network mapper and the wifi analyzer and the correct answer is again the wifi analyzer Question number 8 is that which of the tools listed below would be used for locating a cable in a cabling bundle or tracing individual cables individual wires in a cable the options are spectrum analyzer toner and probe kit time domain reflector tdr reflectometer tdr and multimeter and the correct answer is 
toner and probe kit question number 9 is that which of the following tools is used for attaching wire wires to a patch panel and the options are cable crimper punch down tool cable stripper and needle nose pliers and the correct answer is punch down tool and this is the picture of a punch down tool here you just punch the cable at the back of the patch panel and at the front of the patch panel there are then uh, ports that you can plug a an rg45 connector question number 10 is that which of the tools listed below would be used for troubleshooting incorrect pin outs on a cable options are cable tester multimeter tone generator and loop back plug and the correct answer is cable tester so this cable tester is used to check the connectivity or the correct correct incorrect or correct pin out of a cable so it is done such that you connect one uh, side of the cable here and the other is connected at the remote location then you press the button over here and then this these led indicates that uh, whether the cable is correctly connected or if there is some issue in the pin outs then that is reflected as a red led while the rest are uh, uh, the rest leds are turned on as green leds and the faulty one is denoted as the red led question number 11 is that a type of tool used for verifying correct electrical connectors of wires in a cable is known as options are multimeter time domain deflectometer tdr cable tester and tone generator and the correct answer is again cable tester question number 12 is that while troubleshooting problems with the network interface card nic connector pins on the nic port can be tested with the use of options are postcard cable tester multimeter and loopback plug and the correct answer is loopback plug question number 13 is that which of the following answers refers to a traffic monitoring device placed between two points in a network infrastructure and the options are captive portal tap active hub and transceiver and the correct answer is tap so this tap works such that that let's suppose we have uh, a client device over here and here let's suppose we have a network switch and this is a cable connecting these two devices if you want to monitor the traffic going on between these two devices then you can do such that you can connect a tap over here and again the here you can connect a network analyzer so any traffic that is going in this direction or in this direction is intercepted here and you can uh, analyze it using this tap question number 14 is that which of the answers listed below refer to 1000 base t standard and we have to select three answers the options are twisted pair copper cabling optic uh, fiber optic cabling transfer rate of up to 1000 mbps coaxial cabling or transfer rate of up to 1 gigabit per second on gbps and the correct answers are the this 1000 base t standard is used in twisted pair copper cabling it has a data rate or transfer rate of 1000 mbps and transfer rate of up to 1 gbps so these are both same thing 1000 mbps is equal to 1 gigabit per second or 1 gbps question number 15 is that which of the following answer refer to the characteristic features of cat category 5 or cat 5 cabling we have to select all the correct answer so let's get uh, straight to the correct answer and the correct answers are the first one is that 100 mbps transfer rate over two pair of cables 
hundred base T network. So when use when we use two pair of cable, then we can have a rate of up to hundred Mbps. The next correct answer is that one Gbps or one thousand Mbps transfer rate over all four pair of cables are 1000 base T networks and the next correct answer is that it has the maximum length of 100 meter cable segment length you can use this cable up to maximum of 100 meter and the next correct answer is that we use twisted pair copper cabling in this standard cat5 standard and the last answer is that RJ45 connectors are used to connect or to, to connect this cable to network devices or client devices. Question number 16 is that what is the common minimum requirement for twisted pair copper cabling in modern Ethernet networks? Options are CAT6, CAT5, CAT5E, CAT6 and CAT6A. And the correct answer is CAT5E. Question number 17 is that which of the answers listed below describe the characteristics of categ category 5e or cat 5e cabling? We have to select all the correct answers and the correct answers are that this cat 5e has, has the maximum uh, cable length of 100 meter and it is again as we saw in cat 5 uh, cable it is again twisted pair uh, copper cabling and again it uses RJ45 connector to connect the cable with the client or network device and it has the transfer rate of 1 Gbps or all four, care, uh, four pairs of cables and this standard is known as 1000 base T network. Question number 18 is that what is the minimum cabling requirement for 10 gigabit per second Ethernet connection over copper twisted pair. So the options are CAT5, CAT5E, CAT6 and CAT6A. So the correct answer is CAT6A, CAT5E and CAT5 they give up to maximum of 1 Gbps. Well for 10 Gbps we need minimum of CAT6. CAT6A also support 10 Gbps or even more. Question number 19 is that in 10 G base T networks, CAT6 UTP cabling support at 10 Gbps data transfer rate at a limited range of 33, 50, uh, limited range of 33 to 55 meters whereas cat 6a augmented the a stand for augmented cabling allows for 10 gbps data tra transfer rate over a cable segment of 100 meter and uh, we have to select whether this option is uh, this statement is true or false and it is true so the cat 6 It supports up to maximum of 33 to 35, 55 meter length, while CAT 6A it supports up to 100 meters. And both supports data rate of 10 Gbps. Next question is that which of the following answers refers to coaxial cabling? We have to select all the correct options and the options are fiber optic cabling. It does not provide protection against EMI. It is used for carrying cable television signal and uh, it is copper, cap copper cabling. It provides protection against EMI and it is used for broadband cable internet access. And the correct answers are, these last four options are correct, that it is used for carrying cable television signal, it is copper cabling, it provides protection against electromagnetic induction EMI, and it is used for broadband cable internet access. 
question number 21 is that the general feature of all twisted pair cabling types is that wired inside the cable are grouped into pairs and wires in each pair are twisted around each other to reduce signal interference from adjacent wire uh, wire pairs effect known as crosstalk so we have to choose that whether this statement is true or false and the correct answer is that yes it is true so in utp or twisted uh, utp or stp the twisted pair stands for that the cables are twisted such like that and this uh, twisting is used for uh, reducing the noise or interference are also known as cross talk so yes this statement is correct that the twisting is done in order to reduce the interference in the signal and prevent the cross talk question number 22 is that the main difference between the utp and stp cabling is that the utp cable takes advantage of additional protective cover reducing signal interference from outside sources so we have to select correct option and the correct option is false so this statement is true for stp stp has an additional insulation layer and that why it is called shielded twisted pair while utp is Uh, stands for unshielded twisted pair so this statement stands correct for stp while for S, uh, utp this is false question number 23 is that an ethernet network cable segment implemented with the use of twisted pair copper cabling typically covers a maximum distance of and the options are 33 meter 55 meter 100 meter and 250 meters and the correct answer is yes 100 meters we already studied in this uh, 100 meters length in previous questions and the question number 24 is that which of the answer listed below refers to cabling type suitable for installation underground level without any additional protection covering options are utp coax dbc stp and plenum and the correct answer is dbc So that was all for today. I hope you people have learned something from today video. So for next upcoming video please subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you all.